Hi class, it's Mr. Trez, and this video is going to be about the vertical line test and determining whether a graph is a function or not a function. Our learning objective? The student will be able to identify whether a graph is a function or not a function by using the vertical line test. Our essential questions? How do you identify whether a graph is a function or not a function? And also, Describe the vertical line test. So let's go through some of our key terms first. What is a domain and what is a range? Our domain is the set of x coordinates in the relation, also known as the input. Our range is the set of y coordinates in the relation, also known as the output. Our next key term is what is a function? A function is a relation in which every member of the domain, the input value, the x-coordinate, is paired with exactly one member of the range, the output value, or the y-coordinate. A function is a special type of relation in which each member of the domain, the x-coordinate, is paired with exactly one member in the range, the y-coordinate. So the way we're going to determine whether a graph is a function or not is we're going to use the vertical line test. It states if any vertical line passes through no more than one point of the graph of a relation, then the relation is a function. We're going to draw vertical lines, and if they pass through only one point, then it is a function. So let's take a look at this table. Does this table represent a function? Well, let's remember, for it to be a function, every x must be paired with exactly one y. So negative 5 is paired with 2, 1 is paired with negative 5, and negative 2 is paired with negative 5. So every x value is paired with exactly one y value, so yes, it is a function. So now that we know that it's a function, let's put it on a graph and let's see how the vertical line test looks if it is a function. So let's graph these three points. So the first one is point negative 5, 2, positive 1, negative 5, and then negative 2, negative 5. So now we have our graph. Let's use the vertical line test just to make sure that it is a function. So our vertical line test, what we're going to do is we're going to draw vertical lines, and if they go through exactly one point, then it is a function. So our first point, there we go. We drew a vertical line. It goes through exactly one point. Next, here's our vertical line. It goes through exactly one point. And then finally right here, our vertical line goes through exactly one point. So as we can see, this passes the vertical line test, and yes, it is a function. Okay, next, does this table represent a function? Well, let's remember, for it to be a function, every x must be paired, must be matched with exactly one y. So 3 is matched with 3, negative 1 is matched with negative 4, and positive 3 is matched with negative 2. Well, as we can see, the positive 3 was already matched with positive 3. So, positive 3 is paired with more than one y value. So, thus, this is not a function. Let's put this on the graph now and use the vertical line test. Now, let's see what, what it looks like when it is not a function. So, let's graph positive 3, positive 3. Let's then graph negative 1, negative 4, and then positive 3, negative 2. Okay, so let's draw our vertical lines. I'm going to draw my first vertical line right here, and as we can see, this passes through exactly one point. So right now we're good, but when I draw a vertical line right here, as we can see, it goes through two points, Okay, so our vertical line test, 
if it goes through more than one point, two points, three points, anything more than one, it is not a function. Okay, so now let's take a look at some graphs. So here is our first graph. Is this a function or not a function? Well, let's use our vertical line test. So I'm going to draw a vertical line right here. And as I can see, we have, it goes through, my vertical line goes through more than one point. It went through two points. And even if I drew another one over here, as I could see, it goes through two points, which is more than one point. If our vertical line goes through more than one point, it is not a function. Okay, let's take a look at our next graph. Is this graph a function or not a function? Well, let's use our vertical line test. I'm going to draw a vertical line right here, and as we can see, it goes through one point. I'll draw a vertical line right here, and as we can see, the vertical line goes through one point on our graph. And I'll even draw another one right here, and as we can see, it goes through exactly one point on the graph. So, if our vertical lines, when we draw our vertical lines, if they go through exactly one point, then it is a function. In this case, it went through one point here, here, and here, only one point, so this is a function. Okay, next one. Does this graph represent a function or not a function? Okay, so let's draw a vertical line. And as of right now, it only goes through one point. But if I drew a line through here, so here's my vertical line, it hits the graph here, it hits the graph here, it hits the graph here, it hits the graph here. So clearly, this goes through, our vertical line goes through more than one point. If our vertical line goes through more than one point, it is not a function. Okay, our next graph. Is this graph a function or not a function? Well, if I was to draw some vertical lines, goes through it right here, exactly one, exactly one, exactly one, let's draw one more, exactly one. So as we can see in this graph, when I drew the vertical lines, each vertical line went through the graph at exactly one point, thus it is a function. Okay, so now we have a graph that just has points graphed, ordered pairs. Is this graph a function or not a function? Well, let's graph our vertical lines. It goes through it. Okay, so this line goes through this point exactly once. This line exactly one point. This line exactly one point exactly one point and also exactly one point so yes this is a function okay so when our vertical line goes through exactly one point it is a function okay is this graph a function well let's use our vertical line test here it goes through exactly one point here it goes through exactly one point so right now we're good here, it goes through exactly one point. But when I graph right here, we can see it went through a point here and a point here. So here we have, when we drew our vertical line, it went through more than one point. When we draw a vertical line and it goes through more than one point, it is not a function. Okay, so just to summarize, when we have a graph, we determine if a graph is a function by using the vertical line test. The vertical line test states, if I draw a vertical line and it goes through the graph at exactly one point, it is a function. If I draw a vertical line and it goes through the graph at more than one point, two points, three points, anything more than one point, then it is not a function. Thank you for watching this video.